Hi guys, welcome, welcome to this video. Thanks for tuning in, you, the beautiful people, my friends. Sometimes you need a pick-me-up, you need something to make you feel good, and sometimes it can be music that you listen to, it can be a film that you're watching, it can be going for a walk, doing some exercise, whatever it might be, going for a drive. So, I don't watch too many films nowadays, it's very um, seldom that I want to sit down and watch a film, partly because I know a lot of it's or CGI and the storylines don't tend to be as good as some of the older films that are around. So uh, one evening I thought, right, I'm just going to watch a film, put on something that's going to make me feel good, something nostalgic, something old school. So I popped on The Karate Kid with Ralph Macchio, Ralph Macchio, Macchio, Pat Morita, or I think that's his name. Yeah, the original Karate Kid, not that remake with uh, Will Smith's son and Jackie Chan. The original Karate Kid, and it just brought back so many memories of, um, you know, growing up. And the 80s, the 90s, and soundtrack that was used. It was awesome. You know, you get the underdog, the kid that was bullied, Daniel LaRusso moves to a new town, doesn't have any friends, and then the Cobra Kai with Johnny <laughs> and his gang, and they're bullying Daniel, and one day, you know, they uh, beat, beat the crap out of him, and Mr. Miyagi, his sensei, or Daniel's sensei, comes to the rescue and takes him under his wing, starts training him, and teaches him discipline, teaches him not just discipline in the martial arts world, but teaches him life lessons about having a balance in life and that karate is not just about balance when fighting and defending yourself, but also it's about having balance in life. And it's a real feel-good film. If you haven't watched The Karate Kid, watch it. You know, it's a, it's a great film and there's a lot of lessons that are to be taken from that film. And you've got uh, the training scene where Mr. Miyagi is uh, giving Daniel um, his training. And his training starts out and he's getting him to, you know, sand the floor, paint the fence. <laughs> paint their house from side to side, wax on, wax off, polish the cars. And Daniel, at the time, he's young, he's naive, he's a teenager, He's he just wants to train, he just wants to get the martial arts uh, under his belt so he can take on Johnny and his gang. But uh, during, during one of the scenes, you know, he loses his rag, uh, Mr. Miyagi's gone out fishing, left a little note for Daniel, and, you know, he comes back late in the night, Daniel's like, don't you think, you know, I might have wanted to come fishing with you? And, you know, Mr. Miyagi then sort of like puts his foot down and says, show me the sand the floor. Uh, show me wax on, wax off, and all this, and uh, what, uh, what Daniel didn't realise at the time, he was doing these really dull, boring tasks, thinking that he was just being a slave for Mr. Miyagi, but he was teaching him defense, he was teaching him uh, how to block, so Mr. Miyagi then throws a punch at him, and he says, uh, wax on, or sand the floor, and he blocks the punch, and then it sort of blows Daniel's mind, and this starts the journey of Daniel, you know, realising not everything is as it seems, and yeah, it's just a wonderful film, and I was left feeling good after watching that film, so I wanted to share that. I thought, you know, it's uh, something that made me feel good, 
I'm sure there's a feel that you guys have got in you. You know, everyone's got a nice film that they like. Watch a film, listen to some music, do something that's going to make you feel good and suspend your disbelief just for that moment. So that was it guys. That's all I wanted to share today. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. I hope you're all enjoying the squirrels and their antics and the relaxation. You guys are awesome. Have a wonderful day, noon, night, wherever it is in the world that you're watching from. I'll see you soon.